Sputnik beat us into space. You know, it was catching up and all of that. So there was this, what's next? What's the next frontier? And they said it was going to be the ocean. So they began building deep diving submersibles. Alvin provides a dramatic new research tool for the increasingly important and vital field of oceanography. My first dive, actually, wasn't in Alvin. My first dive was in a cool submersible called the Ben Franklin. It could take five people, and you stayed underwater for five days at a time. And each bunk had a porthole. I mean, this is like, you gotta be getting this is a Nautilus. When you enter my world, it's totally dark. Eternal darkness. Most of the planet has never felt the warmth of the sun and never will. And you enter a volume that is the ultimate space, deep space. And I'm very comfortable down there. A lot of people aren't, but I'm very comfortable in a space with no boundaries. That window, I looked out of it, and now I was in my own version of a Nautilus. See how peaceful it is here. The sea is everything. An immense reservoir of nature where I roam at will. That was a cool moment. What I was able to do with Alvin was to turn it into a geologic jeep. I'm a field geologist. Most of geology is wet. And when you study Earth, there isn't a wet Earth and a dry Earth. There's an Earth. And if you're going to study 72% of it, you've got to study the whole ballgame. 